In this video, we're going to look at square root problems where they're asking you to find a missing number. So what this means, of course, in the first one is the square root of what number is equal to 14? Well, think about roots and squares. That means that if the square root of something is 14, well, then 14 times 14 equals that missing something. And you might know that 14 times 14 is 196. So that means the square root of 196 equals 14, and that's our missing number. So the missing number in the first problem is 196. And I'm going to test that here, long multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Put a 0 here, because we're going to be upper place value. 1 or 10 times 4 is 40. 1 times 1 is 1. Add them up, we get 196. So I feel confident with that one. Next, same idea. 81 equals the square root of what? Well, that means that 81 times 81 will give us this mystery number. Now, I don't know what that is, so we're going to figure it out. 81 times 81. Well, 1 times 1 is 8. 1 times 80 is 80. Put a 0 in because now it's 80 times 1 is 80. And 8 times 8 is 6,400. We can think of it as 64. Add these two up. 5 and 6. 6,561. So that means the square root of 6,561 equals 81. And our mystery number here is 6,561. And since I'm really into checking, I'm also going to check on a calculator. 81 times 81 equals 6,561. Okay, great. Now the next one to deal with fractions, and fractions are actually quite easy to deal with. Um, here this is saying 1 fourth times 1 fourth right, equals the square root of something. Okay, so what is that? Well, to multiply fractions, we multiply right across, and this gives us 1 sixteenth. Okay, great. So here, that mystery number is 1 sixteenth. We can use that to solve the next one. Notice that the square root of 1 sixteenth gave us 1 fourth. So what does that mean about the square root of a fraction? Because we're looking at that in the next problem. Well, that means that the square root of 1 16th gave us 1 fourth, so we can think of it as the square root of 1 over the square root of 16. We can split it up. The square root of 1 is just 1. The square root of 16 is 4. So to get from the square root of 1 over 16 to 1 fourth, this is a good procedure to use. Right? Take the fraction, split it up, and eventually... Take the square root of the numerator and denominator, you get a fraction that works in the end. So the same thing here. The square root of 4 over 9 has to equal what? Well, let's figure it out. Take the square root of 4 over the square root of 9, and that equals the square root of 2 over 3. So it's 2 thirds. And you can test that. What is 2 thirds times 2 thirds? Let's write it over here. Multiplying fractions again, you just multiply right across. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and that works. It gives us 4 ninths. So here the mystery number is 2 thirds. <clears throat> and in other videos, I think I'll talk about why that makes sense. All right, thanks.